Welcome back guys. This is another Code Chef Challenge. We're going to do second largest. We're still in the beginner level stuff. So let's get on with it. So prompt. Three numbers A, B, C are inputs. Write a program to find the second largest among three inputs. So they give us some uh, input examples at the bottom here. And they tell us that we have to handle it for a total of T number of cases. So how do we start this? First, let's get a variable that's going to handle the number of cases which will be our input as well. So e int num of test, in this case, test cases, um, and that parse console will read line. Simple. So this variable is gonna tell us how many uh, test cases gonna be there, and it's gonna be user input. So the next thing we're gonna do is, as you can see, I actually already typed it in using system collections that generic, I'm going to use a list to store all the second largest values for T number of test cases. And we're going to declare that list here, list of seconds equal new list. Whoa, can't spell. So that's that. All the variables we're going to need, we're going to need largest as well as second largest. You just placeholders for where we're going to store the largest and second largest for comparison reasons down the road. And I think the last thing we need here is uh, I'm going to use a multi dimensional array. I'm sure there's much better ways to implement this, but this is the way I chose. This right here, sorry, let me zoom in. I should have done this from the start. This right here, this is how you do a multi-dimensional array in C Sharp. I know it threw, it threw me off at first because I'm used to this being <laughs> multi-dimensional array. Okay, so that being said, this is going to be called nums abc because we have three inputs, new int, and the range that we have to declare is for this many test cases. The reason why it's uh, red like this right now is because I'm trying to use a variable that doesn't exist yet. So I'm going to uh, cut replace this down there. And then three because we have maximum of three inputs. So, whoa, didn't mean to do that. So there we go, solve that problem. Okay, so now let's get to the media part. the actual loop. So the loop is going to be for um, how many test cases are given. That's going to be the range for the first level. So I under num of test, I plus plus. Okay, so the first thing we want to do for, for each test case, or uh, yeah, for each test case, we want to take in the user input. So we're going to ask for the user input and CodeChef likes to do it in a single line. So we're going to take one line and we're going to split it up. We're going to parse it. So we do that by writing this read line. This is normal. It's just like up here. We take the whole string in. However, now we're going to split or parse it by white space. So now we, when you put numbers A, B, and C with the white space in between them, they were one line after this, there'll be three separate uh, pieces. But how do we access it and make sure that they're ints? so that we could use it. Well, we're going to do that in the inner layer loop. So J is less than three because we're taking numbers A, B, and C. So in here, the first thing, the very first thing we're going to do is we're going to get those values that came out from that uh, split parsing. And we're going to make sure that they are ints. Let's make sure that makes sense, right? Yep. So for the first number of tests, so for the very first iteration, I get every other uh, number, which is out of three, right? The next three numbers will be the value that we just put in here. Whoa, that's weird. Those values are stored in there now. 
So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to do the actual comparison. So what we're saying here is that if the first, if this number, if the current number is bigger than the largest number, make second largest equal to the, what was the largest number, and make largest number equal to this number that just came in that's bigger. Oh, I was going to say current. That's why. That's bigger than the than what was the largest number, right? So in the first iteration, this is largest and second largest are zero. So uh, by default, it's going to be a is going to be bigger than zero. So whatever it is, largest and second largest in the first iteration are going to be equal to a. That's what's going on here. So now what happens if we have other values that are coming in that are not bigger than largest? but are bigger than second largest. So we're going to handle that in here. Nums ABC, I search A. If it's bigger than second largest, second largest is going to equal that number that's bigger than second largest, but not it, obviously not bigger than largest. And if it was bigger than largest, it would this whole thing would trigger. So there we go. And there's a few more things here to handle. Now we're going to get that list that we made to carry all of the second largest. And we're just going to add second largest. After, if you notice, this is after, this is, uh, this is the inner loop. So it's after the inner loop because this is the outer loop. So that means after at this point, this is after the first iteration. So this is something we do at the end of all that calculation of seeing which one was the second largest in that test case. And lastly, we just want to reset largest to zero at the end of each test case so that this whole logic that we wrote here will repeat with no problem. So the final thing to do here is we have to actually output the values. And we're going to do that with a for each loop. You could use uh, any other loop as well. I'm just going to use a for each loop. This is basically just saying for each value inside the list, let's output what's inside. So now let's see what happens. Forget, um, don't forget to hit Control F5 if you don't want it to crash on you. So let's see what values they gave us or their test samples. So they want three test cases: 120, 11, 400. The next test case and the last test case 10 3 4 50 and sure enough we get exactly what they wanted so there's that uh, thanks for watching hopefully that was helpful the link to the project files will be inside the description um, check out the other videos that we have for code chef and um, yeah we'll take any requests for code chef problems if you have them thanks for watching good luck on your own run